Hello YouTube, and today we are installing Corsair MP510 1.9 terabyte onto a MacBook Pro 2015 model. Uh, the reason for this upgrade is obviously I wanted to have more storage, but also to have a better performance. And this Corsair MP510 is promising to give us the read speed of 3480 Mbps to the write speed of 2700 Mbps. Now it is almost a double as compared to the Apple's one and I'm going to show you right now by launching the Blackmagic app uh, you can download it from the App Store and I can also show you what the Apple speeds are and then we're going to compare it with uh, the Corsair one as you can see it instantly launching I'm getting around 1200 write speed and the read speed is coming up to 1800 which is not bad as compared to a normal ssd but this is what it's been touching 11 1200 as a write and the read speed around 1800 uh, so we're going to be comparing that at the end with the closer one okay before we go ahead and start installing let me just talk you through about this corsa mp510 drive it is a NVMe drive with a PCIe generation 3 times 4 so it can actually give twice the speed of a normal SSD drive that we get in a Mac. The latest models uh, after 2016 doesn't have that facility to upgrade it because they've been soldered on so unfortunately uh, 2015 is the ideal model where you can do an upgrade and 2016 model the one that hasn't got a touch bar on top you can still do the upgrade on that one but we'll go ahead and start installing on this one okay before we go ahead and start installing let me just uh, do a small unboxing for you uh, as you can see this is a very uh, minimum packaging and I kind of like it um, it's small and uh, it's easier to unpack. Let me just go ahead and open this up for you. So when you take the packaging off, you're just greeted with the one plastic enclosure where you got the SSD, which I kind of like. It's nice and slim. And uh, uh, let's get started with it. The other hand, uh, we've got this uh, adapter that I was talking about. Uh, you can buy this from Amazon and uh, it's fairly cheap it's not very expensive you can get it under tenor which is incredible that you can use any of the NVMe drive on a MacBook and get a blazingly fast speed so together with that we will be installing it let me just show you this is the kit that I bought from eBay it's basically a precision kit that we will be using on to open a MacBook. It's a Pentelope screwdriver. I don't know if my camera can focus. Uh, probably not, but I will be posting a picture on it just for you guys to see which kind of uh, Pentelope screwdriver you need. And the other tools we will be needing to just uh, open the drive and uh, that's it. Okay, the, gonna fast forward all that boring unscrewing of a MacBook. Uh, just to be sure that when you unscrew it, make sure when you're trying to open it, just be gentle with it because you may crack the lid. Uh, here you can see I'm just trying to reach out from both sides and ooh, it's quite dusty. So also that will give me an opportunity to just clean that Mac Pro as well. So, Here's a fast forward of quick clean that I'm trying to do with the air duster. As you can see, a lot of air is gushing out from the fans. It's basically really necessary to clean your fans quite often because uh, that can be lethal for your MacBook. So here you can see the Mac is finally cleaned up and we can focus on, on installation for the Corsair drive. So I'm trying to Take the screw off and be very gentle with the drive 
just lift it slightly and then pull it towards you there you go that's the drive out and bye bye to my old 512 gig here's the adapter as you can see so we'll be putting the m2 drive onto it and uh, the other side is uh, exactly compatible let me just see if the camera can focus this one there you go it's air nvme compatible with macbook pro from 2013 onwards to 2017 um, i'm just going to put that onto the coarser drive So be very careful, just look at the pins and then gently insert it and just uh, be very gentle with it when you're installing. Don't try to push it in or use a very gentle force, not very hard one. Um, it seems a little bit sticking out which uh, looks like a problem but I think if I just should nudge it a little bit more maybe then I can get that on right after wrestling with it not wrestling I'm just kidding after looking at it uh, I think I didn't push that one all the way in uh, so be very uh, gentle and make sure the adapter goes all the way in before it was sticking out a little bit uh, it should fit and then you can put the screw okay so by holding command and r button i've launched the internet recovery uh, the whole point of doing that is basically to bring an installation screen because if it's a fresh drive it hasn't got any operating system so i would need to uh, first format it to the apple compatible file system and then uh, what i need to do is uh, take a backup or install the latest operating system so that that nvme adapter that i have installed should work on that because uh, if you are installing an old operating system that will not work but according to that i think uh high sierra or i think the normal sierra should upgrade the firmware into on on macbook so it should work but basically it had an operating system before that was uh, installed onto it so the firmware has been updated okay the moment of truth i'm going to be doing a speed test on it and as you can see it is touching 2500 on right which is as the company claims around 27 so but the read speeds are fairly half for what the company is saying that it should be hitting the course claims that we should be hitting 2400 uh, but yet we are only hitting around just shy of 2000 i don't know if this is something to do with the adapter that i'm using or it's something what we will get on mac the maximum one but uh, it is still faster than uh, the stock one so i'm quite happy with it and uh, you guys can look the figures for yourself and let me know if you have any answer for it the trim has been enabled uh, so make sure uh, you guys subscribe to my channel and give me your feedback about this and i hope you like this in-depth video of uh, installing Corsair mp510 on macbook pro